Nice, here they go, here they go. Where are they all like ulting back there? They are, aren't they? <laughs> Today, we become legends. Hey, my name's Inter, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be reviewing the top smite clips of all time. I've gone through uh, the top posts of all time on r slash smite and selected only the gameplay clips, and we're going to be looking at all of them, seeing how hyped they are, how funny they are, all that kind of stuff, and this is probably like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 of like the top clips of all time, and it uh, should be pretty interesting. So let's just jump right in with uh, the when two Kepris meet with the Crab Race game, which I did cover in my top smite posts of all time. It is also one of the top posts of all time. That was 5.5k upvotes. But we'll watch it again because it is it's an absolute masterpiece, so. I'm having so much fun. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just two crabs absolutely loving their time in arena pretty much. They're going to get married. I believe it. <laughs> yes, dude. This is what arena's for, I feel like. Like, this kind of shit is absolutely what arena's for. Like, the people who try hard arena and, like, ensure that they have to win every single game, you're doing it wrong. This is how you play arena. These two Kepris. These two Kepris know what's up. Uh, this is also one we've already watched in that previous video, but also worth another watch. Uh, but I think this is the last one that we've actually watched uh, in that previous video. But this one's absolutely great too. Old Clash map as well. Who are you? What are you doing, lad? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> this clip's great, dude. It's, like, both Bacchuses just turn around to stare at the Who are you? Like, okay, okay, I'll leave you alone. I promise. And then Chiron shows up. Pele comes in. Doesn't attack the Bacchus, of course. I'll do Warrior's Blessing and Hide of the Urchin and Booze. This is such an old clip. No! Yeah, Pe Pele, in this clip, she had the chance to be the anime champion that we needed. Uh, zone away the ADCs while the Bacchus had their man fight. But then she became the ultimate anime villain and uh, decided to kill the Bacchus right at the end. Uh, it, it's it's a travesty, to be honest. It's a true travesty. This Pele sh should be permanently banned from Smite, in my opinion. All right, next up, this is quality season seven Masters gameplay. Okay, so he's DC'd. He's DC uh, down here. I need this kill. But he's DC'd. I'll kill him. Oh, yeah, he's... He's, <laughs> he's a thousand percent dead, man. Heim's not even going to get the kill. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> He's saying sorry as well, so it's not even like he can pretend. <laughs> it's not even like he can pretend that he was like, oh, no, nah, I'm actually going to let the Anher get away because I'm a good guy. You know, he's DC'd. There's no reason to kill him. Which, by the way, if someone DC's like that, don't kill him. Even if you're in ranked. Like, just play fair. Um, but this guy, he was proper trying. He needs that kill. He needs that TP. And he, he somehow missed, like, every single basic. That is absolutely hilarious, dude. I love this clip. Fuck you, Loki. Oh, nice. Nice. I love those, like, hard reads on, like, teleports and jumps and stuff. That shit's fucking sick, dude. Let me watch that again. The thing is, you could have just ulted, like, immediately afterwards. He was in enough stun, but that's, like, way more of a flex, right? ST Mast. Is this, is this actually Mast? The, the, the OG Mast. Uh, yeah, I love those kind of clips, dude. Like, those hard predictions that, like, you just know where someone's gonna go. I have a hurt clip where, like, uh, I had blink, enemy had blink, and I read that they were gonna blink away, so I blinked two, and they blinked straight into the two. Uh, if I can find it, I'll put it in the video, because it's a fucking sick clip of mine, but... I'm so good at this game, dude. Dropping nukes. It's uh, four uh, very unstable nuclear Ymirs and one Horus. I can, I, I can just, I just know exactly what's gonna happen here. Nice. Here they go. Here they go. Where are they all like ulting back there? They are, aren't they? <laughs> what was that? Bro, I didn't expect him to all instantly evaporate. Jesus Christ, it was only instant quadra kill for whoever's ult went off last. 
That's the real meta play right there. You wait for all your other Ymir's to ult, and you ult, like, slightly after, because then you get the Quadra kill. You get all the money. That, that was absolutely fucking brilliant, dude. That, that's got to be the best clip in here, surely. There can't be anything better than that. Like, all these, all these noobs in Infinite Assault picking, like, five Nuars and, like, five healers and five, like, Nox and stuff. This is how you do it. This is how you do Infinite Assault, right? Not the usual one to post clips, but this five-man Thordon gives me a half jump. <laughs> Enjoy. I love me some fighting Thorals. Let's, let's give this a watch. It's a Morrigan Thoral, I assume, as well. But sure, don't trust the watchers. Triple kill. Oh, so it was it wasn't a five-man thoral. But that was it wasn't a five-man thoral, I don't think, right? Nah, I definitely want a five-man thoral, but that pentakill was absolutely crisp as fuck, dude. The They're all dead Triple within like kill. three seconds. That double tap right Your at the end. The yeah, that was absolutely sick. That that was like a better clip than the previous one, but the previous one was way more hilarious. Uh, but yeah, that was absolutely sick, dude. Congrats on your pen set, Mr. Alec. Uh, that gave me a half job as well. Absolutely. Titan went through the teleporter. Okay. Some siege. We love a bit of siege in our lives, boys. Oh, why does he have kin size on set, dude? Wait, what? Oh my god, it did! Wait, Titan teleported. What? Titan went through the teleporter. <laughs> Look at him running back Titan down the lane! The what? <laughs> Titan went through the teleporter. What? How does that happen? Like, surely those teleporters are coded to only, like, gods through, because I'm pretty sure they don't let minions through either. Is Titan coded as a god? What? Why is this spaghetti code madness you're on here, Hyrus? This is absolutely ridiculous. Weird, weird interaction. Extremely weird. Okay. Gotta protect that tower. So Kepri, he's got his meditation, he's big chilling. Bro, he's basically 1v4 right now. Argus as well. Nice, nice. Dude, there's no way. Nice. Oh, Hera's tanking? Why is Hera still tanking? Why didn't she drop out? What? What is this gameplay? Wukong, just give it up. Just give it up, lad. This Kepri's clearly too much of a shard for you. Dude. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Great clip. The Kepri played well. But what are that, what are that enemy team doing? Like, after the Bastet died, they should have just immediately ran. Hero was tanking the tower for no reason for, like, five shots. Wukong just missed all of his abilities on the Kepri and then died. <laughs> oh, that is some peak silver gameplay right there, man. That is some peak silver rank joust. 6 a.m. joust players in Latam. Wait, is this a GIF? Okay, it's linked me to, like, another page. Okay, let's watch it. So, Femri has got, got him in his mouth. Oh, here we go. Big fat Yana Salt. Go through the portal. Oh... I see. I see now. It's a classic Ares play. Yes, dude. Yes. I think I've seen one of those with like a... Was it Ares Horus in Arena? And like the, the Ares like ults everyone. The Horus TPs in the fountain and they all die. I think I've seen that clip as well. It's always hilarious. Like Ares teleport clips. Uh, pulling people like into various places. You know, if Loki's not on you guys... Okay, yeah. You heard that invisibility. Dude, he's so fast. Oh, is he ulting back? Nice. Nice, good shit. Yeah. The reason he was so fast was he has, was he has Bombers. That's a sick clip. I like that. Uh, bombers back in the day, dude. That was absolutely hilarious, I am. Uh, very broken. It gave like 35% movement speed or something. Super insane on Morrigan and a couple of other picks. Uh, but yeah, it got removed. Got removed a while ago. Took all day to get an old Cthulhu team, and then this happens. Oh my god, that's a lot of Cthulhus. The game's gonna crash if they all ult, dude. Like, the game will actually crash. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just can't see where anything is. You're just throwing abilities at the ground at this point. The game's holding up, though. No frame drops, no server crashes. I'm impressed, mate. I truly am. Yumiya Kepri and Anha equals there and back again and Noxus Holiday. I'm going. Okay, Yumiya's TPing in. 
Oh, they're going to fountain. Kept re-altered. Oh! Yeah. oh. <laughs> Okay, that was funny, dude. That was that was actually hilarious. I love these kind of clips. Like, they're not necessarily like impressive gameplay feats, but they're really hilarious ways to like exploit the game. Retreat was never an option. Oh, okay. Oh, the damage. Hold the Ganesh. Retreat was never. It looks like you're retreating right now, my guy. Oh, nice, dude. Oh. Nice. Oh. Ring, ring. Oh. Nice. Nice. That was good shit, dude. The sash to avoid the Izanami ult. There was some pretty, like, sick, like, micro plays in there. Oh, that was good shit. I won't need beads. I can ult out if I need to. Famous last words from everyone that uh, doesn't have a CC immune ult. Oh, they're, they're five Sorbeck. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Nah. <laughs> you won't get away with it. Basically dead before you hit the ground, dude. Infinite Assault's so funny. You can just do stupid shit like this and like the Cthulhu's and the Horrors and the Amir's, man. Infinite Assault is just like a clip farming machine, I feel like. like if you want to make viral smite clips, just play Infinite Assault and do random combos like this. But yeah, you, nah, you absolutely buy beads into that comp. You are absolutely screwed. Probably by the time the first Sobek plucks you and then like the last one plucks you the first sobex pluck is back off cooldown so like th there's no way you're escaping there's, there's absolutely no way you're escaping the wrath of the croc how many goals does it take to kill a kuzumbo in conclusive data okay he's going in he's doing his things what is his whole team gonna die and then they're just like all trying to kill kuzum that's that looks like what's gonna happen i'm not gonna lie Yep, here we go. The the, ch the chase begins. The chase begins. The high speed police chase. Is he lagging or is like just the clip lagging? Dude, how is he so tanky? Can we see his build? I don't think we can see his build. But he's probably like full tank and he has that mitigation as well, plus like the shell spikes. Dude, he's wasting so much time. Like red team easy could have got like fire by this point. This is kind of what you have to do when, like, your whole team feeds and you just left there as a tank. You just gotta buy time. Like, you're probably not living. This guy might live because it's, uh, got, like, thousand upvotes this clip, but... Like, even if you don't live, you're just wasting time so they don't get fire or, like, push your phoenixes. You're buying time for respawns. With how long this guy's lasted, his team might fucking respawn by now, dude. I don't even know. He's out of cooldowns now, though. Nah, nah, no way he's living right now. Okay, Tyrell. Yeah, he's dead, right? Oh... How is he healing so much? Does he have med? Oh, maybe he has Gaia. His health bar looks fucking huge and he got knocked up there. Maybe he has Gaia. Probably be good against Tia. Tia misses the feelers. Dude, how is he still alive? This is absolutely ridiculous. They've sent the squad back in as well. Like They're like, Tia and thought you handle this. We'll do fire or something. And they're like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, blue team just got the primal fury. Yeah, th their team have respawned and managed to take the gold fury. In this whole time that Kuzumbo has just been juking around. And now they're going to win the fight. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Tia's going to die. Tia dies there and Kuzumbo doesn't. That's actual insanity. I bet they won the game off that, dude. They just got primal. Like, they killed, like, two people there. Maybe three. They were already winning by, like, a substantial amount of gold as well. That was absolutely ridiculous. That was a great clip. That was, uh, that was riveting right there. Five plus years of playing to get your first penta. Not today, Junior. He's going to get his penta stolen. I assume. I assume. More classic clash. Oh, boulder? Yes. Oh, instant triple kill boulder. That was sexy as fuck. Nice. Where's his build? Oh, his build's wacky as fuck. Nah. Nah, ban everyone on the enemy team, dude. Ban everyone on the enemy team. What the hell? Nah, I thought, like, his teammate was going to steal or something. They surrender? That's so cringe, dude. That's so cringe. Anyone who surrenders in, in, in that situation just doesn't want to have any fun. Bit of dashy action. Oh, he's going to pull them all out of the fountain. Yeah. How many did he get? Wait, all five? <laughs> oh... 
Arena's so silly, man. Arena's actually so silly. You can get away with so much bullshit in Arena that you can't get away with in, like, normal modes. That, that was sick, though. That was actually, actually sick. They managed to, like, get all five people and none of them had bees or CC immunity. Thing is, it's Arena. They respawn in six seconds. All of them respawn in six seconds. I feel like that's, that's like, a dumb aspect of Arena that I don't like. But, yeah, very, very nice play. Very nice play. The satisfying feeling when you save your mid when you save your mid from a five man gang. Okay. Oh, Kraken's Aegis by Fafnir. Yoink. Nice, nice. Do you have ult? Yeah, so Varus has ult in four, so. Nice. Nice body block, yeah. Ult? Yes. That steps in as well. Oh, it, it's turn. I may not be the best ninja. I may not be one with the universe, but I will tell you this. No one messes with my brother. Everybody was <laughs> No one messes with my mid lane. <laughs> yeah, that was just a classic like fatty support play, man. Turn it around into three kills. That was very nice. Okay, he's got 100 HP. Surely he don't live this. I mean, after that Kuzumbor clip, I'm assuming he does live this, to be honest. Yeah, Atomus cuts him off. Nice freeze. Oh, he's full damage. I see. <laughs> that basic just hit for like fucking 800. Nah, there's no way. Does it last long enough? <laughs> nice, dude. Is that why they nerfed you, Mirwall? Because they nerfed the duration of it, didn't they? I think it used to be like eight seconds back in the day, and then they nerfed it to six. And I think now it's four or something. Like, they've nerfed the duration on it, but they also reduced the cooldown. Uh, so, like... It's up more often, but it does less when it's up. So, like, I don't think you could do that kind of play anymore. Maybe you could. I don't think four seconds is enough to back, though. I think the backing animation is, like, five seconds or something. When your whole team rage quits, but good spot enemies ease the suffering with a free penta. Yeah, here we go. They're all going to run into fountain. Yeah, if you just warn them and they all run into fountain, that's, that's like, free, right? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yes, dude. Nice. See, those are true gamers. The guys that surrendered on the Hercules, they're not true gamers. Mercury enters the Matrix. Why does he have Golden Blade in Arena, man? Surely you don't need Golden Blade in Arena. Nice, throw him at the wall. What is going on right now? Oh! That works? Oh! 11 HP! Oh no! He's got the jukes. Nice. Mission passed? Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I did not know that. I did not know that was a thing. That, that Mercury won, like, for a very brief moment, like, actually teleports him and he's can't be hit. I didn't even know that was a thing. I imagine the window for it is, like, insanely small. But that's that's sick. I like that. The only time I will ever buy Med Cloak is to troll Achilles. Yeah, it's, it's good for troll to kill without a test, man. Is this Capri Solo? I respect it. Oh, the audio is so crispy, man. Nice. Yeah, probably want to tell us. The audio is so incredibly crispy on that, but nice play. Actually, nah, maybe it's... Is it all Persephone? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's all Persephone. Yeah, three and he dies. Yeah. 
See, that was like one of the problems of all Persephone, dude. Like that kind of shit with the plants. It's really cool and like hard to do. Like that was a sick play, but that was one of the problems with like Persephone's old too. I think people forget about. Like I am, I am with the rework Persephone movement to be honest, but um, that that was like one aspect of her old kit. Oh, sorry, not rework, revert Persephone. Uh, but that that like one aspect of her like old kit, especially the passive as well. Like, that's one reason why I wouldn't want her to be, like, completely reverted, I guess. Okay, we got Scylla Penze here to finish us off. Nice. Another reset. Is this going to be a straight-up, like, old Penza? It is, right? Yeah. Quadra. Oh, that Amanda's going to kill you, though. Oh, nice, dude. Five resets? You get an achievement for that as well. That was nice, dude. The fact that he got a reset as well on, like, the final one. Like, he was still in his ult after killing five people. That's kind of insane, dude. That's, like, classic Scylla gameplay. But, yeah, that's it. That's all the clips I've got for today, boys. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, um, I could either, like, review more from our slash smite. Or I could, like, ask you guys to send me in your clips. I'm going to do, like, clips reviews from you. Uh, see how good they are. But, yeah, this was the top clips of all time from our slash smite in terms of, like, gameplay clips. Some absolutely sick ones here, to be honest. Why was that, um... Yeah, this one. Hey, stop. Stop. This one was absolutely sick, dude. I'm going to watch this once more before the end of the video. Like, just the fact that it instantly quadra kills him, like, the timing's perfect. I could watch that on loop for, like, the entire day, dude. That's absolutely great. Uh, that's probably going to be the intro clip, I think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you'd like me to do more of this kind of stuff in the future, like reviewing clips and stuff. And uh, maybe like if you send me clips, I can review them. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day and peace out, you nerds.